What is happening guys and welcome to the Greed Feed and today we have an unboxing! We've got Loot Crate guys. So, this actually came really quick. It's like, it's like the middle of May, but usually we get, I get Loot Crates at the end of the month. Obviously because they ought to come from the States all the way over to Australia, but this arrived on a Saturday funnily enough. Um, so, I decided to go back um, and give Loot Crate a second shot. Um, I got their Loot Gaming box, if you guys haven't seen my uh, unboxing for that, hopefully something is popping up right here right now, but um, I wasn't entirely impressed with it, uh, so I'm hoping that this box kind of redeems the whole thing. Um, so I don't remember what the theme was, but I remember there's a Guardians of the Galaxy item, um, that's really all I remember to be honest, I remember going, yep sweet, I love Guardians, hopefully there's something cool Guardians in here. Um, the box, I don't know how well you guys can see that, but it's like... Got that stupid little kind of cutout thing, so I assume the box turns into something. Um, but I think that's just the stupidest thing ever. They they kind of uh, sacrifice their box integrity to do those, and I don't think they're that great. But hey, could be something fun to do at the end of the video. We'll see where we go for time. But for those of you that don't know what Loot Crate is, it's pretty much a monthly subscription of all things geek and gamer. Um, and I will put all the uh, links down in the description for you guys if you want to check Loot Crate out. But if you don't, hopefully I will be keeping Loot Crate, at least the base crate on. I think I've cancelled my gaming subscription because it wasn't that great. I don't really like the theme that was next month. But hopefully, if this crate, crate's good, we'll keep Loot Crate going on the channel, guys. Because I do really enjoy unboxing them. And I think they're a heap of fun. So without further ado, guys, let's lift up. And that's what you see. So let's kind of blind do it. So we've got... Feels like a pop. A pop and a shirt. Wow, no. Oh, there's another item in here, a pop and... You anyway, let's do the shirt first, guys. I think it's a pop. It's It feels popish. So the shirt, we have a red. Oh, it's the Goonies. That was the other thing that was in here. So I'm not entirely a big fan of the Goonies. It was never really my thing. Um, that's, a, that's kind of a cool shirt. Um, it's not as... I don't know if you're a Goonies fan, let me know if you love that shirt or not. It's cool. Again, I'm not a Goonies fan, guys, so I'm not going to really uh, be like head over heels for it. But I like, you know, it's a cool colour, the red's cool. And it's at least, it's a shirt that I could wear even not being a massive fan of the Goonies. And it's not like too out there. And there's no characters or anything on it. So, not a bad shirt and it feels really nice. And again, guys, I don't know if Luke Crater... Obviously, their buying power is getting a bit better. We have a licensed shirt. So, it is Goonies official licensed merchandise. So, good value on that one. So, the next item. We'll go with this long, skinny thing. Which, God knows what the hell that is. Next item we have is a... Uh, oh, are you serious? It's a set of six colored pencils. I don't know how well you guys can see that. It comes with a sharp. That's fucking shit. I'm sorry. That's horrible. That is. I'm a. I'm an adult, and they must know. They would know if you've got money and you're buying this box. You're an. You're an adult. Why do I have pencils? Unless it's to color in the fucking box, which even then, I mean, I'm probably not gonna do. I'm sure my girlfriend will like those, but although she's already got a lot of pencils. That can't be it. It can't be just one item. Oh wait, no. There's okay. There's stuff on the bottom. So, so let's pull out. Feels like a book or a comic or something. Oh, okay. That makes okay. Okay. Ignore my comment about the the coloring pencils. So there was a Star Wars item in this. Now that I remember, um, and it is the art of coloring. Star Wars: Thirty Images to Inspire Creativity. That is really fucking cool. Um, so obviously, like, it's a licensed Star Wars coloring book, guys. That's really cool. Um, although, hold up. Yeah, okay, yeah, it's cool. That's cool. So there's some cool little pictures there. we got Leia. That is, that is really cool. Okay, I take back my comment about the coloring pencils, guys. At least they, it's cool they included coloring pencils. But that is a cool little book. I'm sure I'll have uh, many uh, hours sitting. And uh, actually, some of these would be really cool tattoo ideas, to be honest. If I ever got a Star Wars tattoo, like, get a Star Wars mandala. 
Like that's pretty cool, the little the Emperor Empire and the and the Rebels. Cool little book. I'm actually kind of impressed because that like you buy that in a store, that's ten bucks, so Loot Crate always had their value. So that's pretty cool. And I assume this item is a pop. I think it's the last. Hold on, we've got you know, we got something else. They're all really skinny items, guys. I can't see them. So we have a Destiny 3 patch set. That's cool. So there was Destiny in here as well. Now it's all... I still don't know what the theme is. We'll get to that in a second, obviously, when we pull the pin out, guys. But um, we've got some Destiny patches. Oh, that, okay. That's that's cool. So we've got, obviously, Hunter, Warlock, and Titan. Destiny patches. Now, I, I have a feeling that Bungie um, was selling these on the Bungie store. And... Um, I think it was Sniper Wolf I saw got some of them. That's cool. You could chuck that on like a shirt or a jacket or something. And it's like, it's not ev ev evasive of a patch, but like it's, you know, anyone that knows Destiny will know exactly what you're going on about. So that's really cool. I am, I am kind of chuffed with that. So this last item must be, yeah, we'll do the pin. Sorry. I always forget about the pin. Oh, that's like, this is like my favorite item in the box. So the theme this month, guys, for May 2017 was Guardians, and we have an Avatar Last Bender patch. So we have like a, it's pretty much Aang's face. I don't know how well you guys can see that, if it'll focus on it. Let's take it out of the plastic, actually, because it, it tends to struggle to focus with the plastic. But that is a cool ass pin. I don't really like pins, guys. You guys would know that if you've watched my videos, but that is a sick pin. That is really cool. I'm really curious to know what this, this item is then. And we've left it to last, guys. It's gotta be a pop. If, no, oh, it's bigger than a pop. I think it's bigger than a pop. What did I say in my loot gaming? So if you guys, if you haven't seen my loot gaming video, go watch it right now and then come back. I'll, I'll, I'll give you guys five seconds. So you can pause right now. Go watch my loot gaming video and see what I say about Loot Crate and why I cancelled in the first place, and then come back and watch this. We have a fucking Q fig, guys. That's the Guardians. Ah, oh, come on. So don't get me wrong, I know a lot of you guys like the Q figs, and I, I do like them, in a way. I think they're really nicely sculpted. I love what quantum mechanics... Quantum yeah, but, but, but. What quantum mechanics do with these figures, I think for such a small sized scale figure, they're really good on their sculpts and their paintwork. But my problem is that the reason I cancelled Loot Crate is because every second crate has one of these in. Obviously, Loot Crate have made a partnership with Quantum Mechanics. They have exclusive Q-Figs that come out. Um, well, actually, this isn't even exclusive. No, it's not. It's just a fucking Q-Fig. They used to have exclusive ones. Um, so I get I get why they get put in the boxes, but it's just like, if I wanted a Q-Fig every second month, I would collect Q-Figs and go buy Q-Figs. I don't, like, I don't need them shoved in my face for me to go buy them. I mean, this is a cool Q-Fig. Again, I'll open it up and, ha and show you guys. Um, it's a rocket with Groot, so it's pretty much like the uh, Marvel Collector called Pop, but it's a Q-Fig version, so... Props to Quantum Mechanics for stealing that idea from Funko. So again, like, they're cool. They're nicely detailed. I got no real problem with, with them at all, but it's just like, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about them, guys. I just, I already have pops. I collect a lot of pops. Um, I don't need another small scaled collectible. It's just, yeah, they just, I don't even know, I've got, I don't even know where they went. I, ha I have the other Q-Figs that we got from these boxes. I couldn't even, I can't even give them away. No one wants them. I'm really bummed about that, guys. This box was going so well until that happened. I mean, in terms of value, it's a good box. You've got your shirt, the patches, we've got the coloring book, we've got the, the Q-Fig and everything. Like, they, Loot Crate always hit it on, on... Uh, quality and, and uh, value in their items, but it's just, am I, maybe I'm just going insane, it just seems to be the same shit all over, and I know it's difficult as a company for you guys, for Loot Crate to kind of think of new things month in, month out, I can 
only imagine that's difficult. But if that if it's becoming that difficult, then then pull your box back and make it a bi-monthly box or a quarterly box or something, like the collector core boxes and stuff like that are. Um, because I, I would rather a bi-monthly box that had decent items in it and well thought out themes and items than a monthly box that's just filled with the same shit week in, week out, month in, month out, I should say. I don't know. I don't know what to say, guys. The, the it had to, it had to happen. A Q fig had to be in this box because they just know how much I fucking hate Q figs. So that's it, guys. Let's go through. I don't know what the fuck this box turns into. Oh, okay, okay. This this kind of cool. It turns into a ghost from Destiny. So I might I might build that and show you guys. But we'll go through the book first, and I'll see if I can build the thing. So we got the booklet, which has a. Is that a poster? Has it has some other extra thing in it. It's like guardians, bonus, loot, dead I don't fucking know. I don't know, it's like some of these things I look at and I'm like, do they do they make them for kids? I'm sure there's parents that buy this for their kids, but most people I would assume buying loot crate are buying it as adults, but maybe I'm wrong on that guys. So Let's have a look through, shall we? So obviously everyone's getting that Q-Fig. Um, oh, it's a timed exclusive. Oh, bravo. Because everyone's rushing out to buy Q-Figs. So this is what I mean. They used to have a lot. Like, I don't think anything in here is like 100% loot crate exclusive. Oh wait, the Destiny patches are. So maybe Bungie don't sell them. Um, but I mean, come on guys. Like, a licensed shirt that you can probably buy at Kmart and a timed exclusive Q-Fig. I want, I want that awesome, like really thought out Loot Crate exclusive stuff that we used to get when we first started getting these boxes. That's the kind of stuff that, that used to make me excited for Loot Crate coming every month. Um, again, everyone gets that Goonie shirt. I'm not a huge fan, but I'm not a fan of the Goonie, so I'm not gonna love it. Everyone gets the coloring book, which um, surprisingly I'm a big fan of. And we've also got the Destiny Loot Crate exclusive patches. And oh, that's cool. I don't know if I've got. Oh, okay. So you know, you know, a crate is bad when my favourite item is the pin. But this pin, uh, Aang actually glows in the dark. So his his eyes and his arrow glow in the dark. That's fucking awesome. I'm gonna have to definitely test that out, guys. And that was pretty much it. Again. Uh, the uh, the box folds into a ghost, so we'll see if we can do that. And then we've got the mega crate guys, which I don't know. I don't know if anyone's ever fucking won the mega crate. Can you tell me? Because like, I've never seen anyone post up to say they've won this thing. But you get a uh, group premium format figure, a Lego superheroes Guardians of the Galaxy Milano vs. Abelisk set, a Marvel Cinematic Universe Phase 2 Blu-ray Collector's set, which looks pretty fucking cool, and a Deluxe Telescope with Accessory guys. so that's the Mega Crate. Again, I don't think anyone's ever actually won the Mega Crate. I think it's just an absolute phallus of a thing that Loot Crate have created to get you to come back and buy their shit day in, day out. So let's have a look at this box, guys, and see if I can make it. You know what, I fucking give up. I'm not even going to try. Uh, that's it guys. Let me know what you thought about this video. Um, if you liked this Loot Crate, if you didn't, um, just let me know down in the comments guys. I would love to hear your thoughts because I'm really 50-50 on whether or not I'm... I should probably give them another month. Um, which I will, I'll definitely, for the for the core crate, I'll give them another month and see what they do with next month. I don't I don't know what next month's theme is going to be, but hopefully, hopefully they do a bit of a better job than this month's. Um, but yeah, guys, we will we will hopefully see what uh, tunes Loot Crate has in store for us, which I might not even be here to unbox, but hopefully I will. Hopefully it'll show up before I leave, guys. And that is all for me today, guys. As always, if you're new here to the Green Feed, make sure to smash that subscribe button down below and give me a big old thumbs up if you love Loot Crate and you love what they're doing. And as always, comment down below, guys. Let me know what you thought of the crate um, and if I should keep going with my Loot Crate subscription because I'm still kind of umming and ahhing about it. 
but we will definitely see. We'll give them one, one last shot, guys, with another box, and we might have to cut cut the cord again. And as always, guys, wherever you are in the world, I hope you're having a fantastic day, and I shall catch you guys next time.